More than 10,000 people commute from Kitchener to the GTA every day, which has led to construction of a new $16 million GO train layover station on Shirley Street in Kitchener. The new station will be able to house four trains and several GO buses overnight, while the current station, the one here at the corner of Victoria and Weber Street West, can only hold two. This means four trains will be leaving every morning from Kitchener to Toronto and four coming back into the city at night. Local resident Cherie Booth used to live in Hamilton and commuted daily by GO train to her job in Oakville. And I found it to be extremely convenient. I never had to worry about traffic. I never had to worry about the weather. I didn't have to worry about parking. And I think that if GO Transit increases their train service to Kitchener, that it would be very beneficial for a lot of people who commute daily. But it isn't all smooth sailing. There are still no morning trains from Toronto to Kitchener or evening trains from Kitchener to Toronto. Another obstacle, quite literally, is a 30-kilometer line of track between Georgetown and Brampton, owned by Canadian National Railway. They're hesitant to have passenger trains take up time on this track, which they use as a direct line to carry freight. A group of engineers, planners and policy people are discussing the matter now and Kitchener Centre MPP Diane Verniel tells Spoke TV about what else is being done to resolve the issue. We've appointed David Colonnette to be our special advisor to look at high speed rail and he used to be a federal minister of transportation in Canada so I think he's going to be a very good negotiator for us. Uh, we also have a new federal partner in Ottawa. During the election campaign Justin Trudeau campaigned in our area and talked about his commitment to seeing improved service for GO trains. Verniel hopes to have the new layover station complete by April of next year and for two-way all-day GO trains to be a reality by 2025. For Spoke TV, I'm Lindsay Griesbach.